Now moving on here, that's not all for today's video as I've got another box here. And this one is from the one, the only Money Mike. Money Mike, who is from Money Mike's Midwest Retro Gaming. It turns out he's also a Ghostbusters News Patreon member. And I've received a parcel from Money Mike every fan mail Friday for like the past, I think three iterations. And he sent me a message, he gave me a call. He let me know that, uh, you know, I had some more goodies on the way and I'm really excited to tear into these, but first, uh, I've got an envelope, uh, I think a letter inside of here. Okay, no, no letter, but we actually have a couple of awesome photos here of Money Mike along with his two nephews, both Tristan and Matthew. And I love these photos, all three, they're rocking Ghostbusters shirts. And then in behind them there, you're gonna notice Vigo the Carpathian. Just for fun, Mike also included this old school Ghostbusters 2 activity book coloring page. We got Dr. Peter Venkman there running away from what looks like a haunted house. And then on this other side, we've got this ghost here that's been colored in by, I believe, Bean, who if you watched our past video, that's Mini Bean, that is Mike's other nephew. And it's got a little joke here at the bottom that reads, why are four-legged ghosts poor dancers? Because they have two left feet. Really? Two left feet? This was an officially licensed Ghostbusters item. Like, this came, once again, from the Ghostbusters 2 activity book. I, I don't know if I like Ghostbusters anymore after, after that joke. Spoiler alert, I once again like Ghostbusters, and that's because of Mike's other item that was found inside the box, this real Ghostbusters cup. And I am elated, I am through the moon to finally have this real Ghostbusters cup. And if you don't know why, that means you've not been watching the past installments of Fan Mail Friday. As little by little, Mike has been tracking down and sending me contents from the real Ghostbusters locker bag. If you'd like a closer look at the items featured in the bag, once again, be sure to check out our previous Fan Mail Friday videos. But inside, you'll find real Ghostbusters tissues, soap, a hairbrush, I mean, just tons of stuff. And the big item I was missing from this real Ghostbusters locker bag, once again, was that real Ghostbusters cup. So let me just go ahead, pop that in there. There we go. Mike, I cannot thank you enough for all of those goodies. Now we're not ending it there as there was one more item left inside that box and it was this Ghostbusters 2 record. For those unaware, back in 1989, these records were found inside Ghostbusters cereal. And on the record, there were three questions and if you entered all of them correctly and sent your answers into, well, wherever you needed to send them into, you got a chance to meet a real Ghostbuster. Now I'm quite curious after all these years, does this record still work? I mean, it's pretty flimsy as you can see. But if you'd like to see and hear this record in an upcoming video, be sure to comment down below and let me know. Now that's all I've got for you for this one. Once again, I want to thank everyone at Ghostbusters 407 and also Money Mike from Money Mike Midwest Retro Gaming for sending in today's goodies. A reminder, as always, if you have anything you'd like to send into the Ghostbusters News Headquarters, we got our mailing address and it can be found down below in the description. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.